Kumusta kayo na lahat? Welcome to Pinoy Bounce. I hope you guys are doing amazing. This is our final episode for the year. It's Christmas coming. Pasko is your host, Marky Mark. Over here on my left side, we got Ingrid. How are you feeling? Good. In the holiday spirit. Woo! It's Pasko time. Over here on my right side, we got Piolo Pasko. Oh, sorry. It's James. <laughs> How yeah. are you feeling? I'm good. I'm good. Good to be back. Awesome. I'm excited because we're going to start James with... What do you got? Uh, today's NBA fun fact goes to John ja Morant. John ja Morant was unranked high school player back, back in high school. And he was accidentally recruited by Murray State University. Back in high school, he went to this tournament. And Murray State sent a college scout in that tournament, not to watch John ja Morant, watch other athletes. That college scout went to a break, bought some water and some chips, and he heard a crowd cheering for John ja Morant to the next gym. So he went to that gym, and he saw John Morant, and he was impressed. And he called Murray State and said, you should recruit this guy. This guy could be the next Westbrook or next big thing. And he got drafted after that. Everything is history. And then he got drafted by Memphis Grizzlies, second round overall. You don't know what the future holds. Maybe he can be the rookie of the year. And just like Christmas, you don't know what the future holds. And the matchup is nice. LA Clippers, LA Lakers. Celtics against Raptors, Bucks against Sixers, Pelicans against Nuggets. What are you guys looking forward to? Like any matchup or exciting matchup that you guys want to see in a Christmas? Yeah. For sure, that Celtics and, and Raptors is going to be exciting. Hopefully, also nerve-wracking, though, in regards yeah. to... But we'll go into the topic for that later For that on. later. Okay, what other... T- I mean, the... The surprising one is probably going to be the, the Rockets. It's going to be a slap against the, the, the Warriors. Warriors. Yeah, <laughs> we I'm, thought it was going to be, if they would have had, that would have been a nice matchup. It would have yeah. been, but mm, yeah. well, that got, dynasty like, is coming down. <laughs> um, I'm actually really excited to see the Pelicans and the Nuggets. I just feel like that's more of a good close game with a good head-to-head going on right with then. Um, mm. Other than that, Bucks, I feel, is going to slap the Sixers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's, your, what's, your, what's your take on that game? Like... This is, this is like the back. preview of Eastern Conference Finals, so... Yeah. Preview? <laughs> so, uh, this should be like... So, you, like, you never know, so I don't know. Four or...? <laughs> uh, Sixers in... Six, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know if it makes sense, but yeah. But, actually, I'm uh, actually excited about that game. I mean, uh, yeah. Giannis has been playing well, but also, like, uh, Embiid... Tobias Harris has been balling, too. Uh, I, like, I like the addition that they have with Josh Richardson. I think he fits a little better. I hope his injury... Is over because I know he just, he just came back from an injury. So I want to see them kind of in full health against Bucks. Hopefully Bledsoe is good by then because I know Bledsoe ha- has some injury as well. But I think Giannis is playing on an MVP level, so I want to see. He's that carrying game. the team. Yeah, no, he's carrying the team because yeah. uh, Malcolm Brogdon is out. I mean, he's gone. He went to the Pacers mm-hmm. and some players like, and they have they playing Divincenzo, who's a player from Villanova, yeah. and, when, and then now he's playing great. Yeah. And he's getting playing nowhere. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of players just kind of blooming this season. It's yeah. been great to see. I mean, especially Brandon Ingram for the Pelicans. Yep. Been beauty to watch him play and kind of really lead that team. We all were excited about Zion, but all of a sudden yeah. here is this guy that people forgot. Like we just traded yeah. out, right? <laughs> and no, then, but I, what I heard from the Pelicans is that uh, Brandon Ingram and Zion are just going to are keepers. Like they're definitely mm-hmm. going to be holding on to them. them. Yeah. yeah, they're not going to trade them for sure. Mm-hmm. But like everyone else is like. Yeah. up and open for it too so mm-hmm. that's a little mystery but I know there I don't know for for Zion I feel bad for him they predicted he would play before the mm-hmm. end, the new year new but year. then they're just saying that he is going to be playing mm-hmm. next year like what we said before his title or for that that shot at rookie of the year is gone mm-hmm. it's going bye bye mm-hmm. but you never know because they might do the might same thing as, as Blake Trey. Griffin and Ben oh. Simmons that's some mm-hmm. rumors of yeah. like yeah, not play the the mm-hmm. season, but you never know. With that. Uh, knee injury is no joke sometimes. So. No, it isn't. Okay. Uh, speaking of, uh, I guess it's the Christmas season, the Pasco season. I want to s- kind of know what's been your Christmas gift from the NBA season so far. What do you think has been your favorite? I guess we call it your Christmas gift from the NBA <laughs> season. Um, I definitely the gift have that keeps on giving. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the gift that keeps on giving. Well, let's just say Harden dropping that many points, though. Yeah. Like, and he's like averaging what thirty-eight points. That's insane. Yeah. I think he, if he continues, he could literally out um, beat Michael Jordan's record. Yeah. Of thirty-seven points a game. Yeah. Like, how, crazy. how likely can he keep this up? I mean, I feel knowing like that Westbrook might not hog the ball as much or not. 
Right. I just feel like with like with Westbrook now being part of the Rockets, his usage kind of went down a little bit as mm -hmm. opposed to like him carrying the team in OKC, mm -hmm. because technically it is Harden's team. Mm -hmm. Westbrook is just basically going to be the number two player out of mm -hmm. the out of the Rockets, right? So. Mm -hmm. The gift that keeps on giving. I mean, Harden just keeps dropping, dropping those points. If anything, so. Yeah. I don't so know. The, you all agree. The only thing that can stop Harden from scoring 38 points a game or beat Jordan's record is Westbrook. Basically, yeah. <laughs> the same thing that. <laughs> well, with Westbrook and Harden together in the court is plus 17. So yeah. he's playing great he's playing with the right, yeah. Yeah. with the Westbrook. So because I guess they have like the off court, they're they're playing. They, they don't have no fine. problems. They're no problems <laughs> with each other. So. Yeah. <laughs> So they they're so used to playing together like for a long time too now. Right? It's true. So it's true. Yeah. Clippers and Lakers again, uh, by the way. So, oh, Clippers, yeah, that's gonna be a good matchup. That's match gonna up. be a good matchup again. Yeah. So Clippers like what Lakers. we said for the home opener again yeah. for the Christmas. So. Yeah. But this time you got a full healthy in Kawhi and Paul George, and then you got a healthy LeBron and AD. What so, are you guys taking though? I'm taking. I'm still taking Clippers. Taking I Clippers, like the Clippers. Yeah. I, I like the way they play. I mean. Same. I, I know it's Clippers, but. If Anthony Davis just go Goes crazy, off? that's Goes the only that, that's the only guy that can change the back beating back. the yeah, yeah the beating the Lakers. Yeah. Like if he because no Montrez can stop them, but like not like Anthony Davis. He can thing slow him down, so but yeah. then you can't stop Davis. Yeah, yeah. Stop Davis. And then the pick and roll is so Even deadly. Even like stupid yeah. like shoulder injury, he still yeah. managed to drop how I many know. points? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. His pick and roll is deadly. Yeah, and then when they do it, it's like it's too easy for them when they play the other teams. Yeah. It's just like. And the funny, I saw one clip when LeBron fake a pass. He was just doing this, and he just threw it like 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 that. <laughs> and then he just Anthony Davis just dunk it easily. Yeah, they can easily like, read it. I don't know what it is. Yeah. They just have that kind I think of radar. Just, yeah, I think Davis is just that kind of player that you can, uh, that you can. I I I just had a feeling like an intuition, just knowing the kind of player Davis is, the his personality. I just had a feeling that it would just work well with a guy like LeBron because of the way LeBron is. Right, you can see the personality of Davis is totally complete opposite of a guy like Kyrie. Kyrie, mm -hmm. right? It's like it has that feeling of like a Chris Bosh kind of personality, like low key, don't need that much attention, but then can get buckets and can mm -hmm. really get get the job done on the court. And, and I like I felt that way too with Paul George and and, and Kawhi. They just have that kind of low key, kind of small market kind of personality, but then they just want to get done on the court. Right? No drama whatsoever. Yeah. I think that's kind of why Paul George kind of decided to stay at OKC because it was a small market, not much attention, right? Yeah. And then kind of when he found out about the fact that Kawhi is going, I think he kind of just made a move and saying, I want to win a championship. And he knew that he can't win it and playing with a guy like Westbrook. Yeah. Right. That's basically like the most, he's the most athletic player who ever played with LeBron. Mm -hmm. Like you, you see Dwayne Wade is there, Kyrie is there, but this guy's the most athletic Athlete he played with, played with LeBron. Mm -hmm. So let alone one of the tallest too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 one of the biggest. Yeah. What about your Christmas gift, by the way? <laughs> oh, my Christmas gift has been like Pascal. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Just, yeah, you know, I, I was never a crazy Raptors fan until really just last season when I just kind of saw what the thing that I liked about basketball, which was passion, and, and just amazing basketball. It was a team effort basketball. That's kind of the kind of basketball I've always enjoyed watching. And just to kind of see it's this season even more because of the development of OG, Norman, and, and Fred, and then Pascal taking that even bigger leap. So it was just a gift to see. <laughs> and for James, I'm pretty sure what he wants for Christmas is a win. A win. <laughs> from the, six, from the Sixers. No, my, I want for Christmas is Red Brown getting fired. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's not, that's I'm sorry, Red Brown. But yeah. Let's see. That can come next year. We'll see. That's all we have, guys, for What's Up in the NBA. I hope you guys enjoyed that. But stay tuned, because when we come back, all about the Raptors.